Hi, this is Leslie Farouk coming at you with information about Taggle, a site I use to make word cloud art. If you type in Taggle in the Google search bar, you get Taggle word cloud art as your first hit. I already have my account created and it has single sign-on so you can use your Google account to sign in. I want to show you today how I would use my student feedback data to create a word cloud to generalize the idea behind how the mood is and how it is going in my classroom according to the students. So I would hit create new word cloud. I can call it Farouk Feedback November 15th, 16th, oops, 15th. And I want to import the words. Now where am I getting the words? In the case of this particular exercise, I'm getting the words from the feedback my students gave me yesterday about how Biology 12 is going this year. And I'm going to copy all of those statements the students made about how they think biology is going this year and paste them right there and import the words. Now that I've imported the words, I can see that quite a few of the words uh, have been stated several times by the students. And I can begin to create something special with the words that the students have given me for feedback about my teaching practice. For example, if I want, I can decide on a particular shape. So there's lots to choose from in Taggle, but I think I'm going to choose a heart for this one. And there's lots of font choices, so I don't... Uh, particularly mind if it stays with the default but there's other options if you prefer. The layout you can choose which way the words are going. Dancing words is a fun one and this is where you can decide how many words and also how much um, size is afforded to each word based on how many times they appeared in the list. You can manipulate the colors if you want to. I'm not going to. I prefer the red of the heart. And then when I'm all set with the choices I have there in the Taggle options list, I go visualize. And the results of this, which I can expand, is a really great way to get an overall feel for how my population of learners is feeling about the year so far. And it gives me an opportunity to reflect and perhaps modify my practice or continue the course because these terms look pretty good. So that's a way you can make a word cloud for you. I can save my changes and I can go back to all of the clouds I've made. I've been exploring this for a while and we can just take a quick look at the other things I've made. You can see this is nature of science terminology superimposed on the planet. There is the opportunity for a lot of different vocabulary organizers that can be pasted into a learning management system or on a handout. Uh, if I go into my next generation science standard homeostasis, the tagle I made for that was a person playing basketball. And I, I've just found that it's a really lovely way to either share vocabulary terms that are important in supportive learning or as I showed you just now in terms of getting the overall feel for some qualitative feedback that you've received in word form. Thank you for listening.